What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Lemon Football and today's video is going to be a little bit different of a review. Now this one is on the Don Joy Performance Bionic Ankle Strap right here. Now the reason is this is going to be different is because I don't actually have the ankle strap anymore. The reason I don't have it is because I sent it off to my buddy for testing. So I sent it to my buddy Joel on the other side of the country for him to test it and as a way of basically saying thank you for um, him testing it for me he got to keep it. And the reason I sent it to him for testing is because if you saw last year what happened to Gordon Hayward where he dislocated and broke his ankle, that exact same thing happened to Joel, I think like a couple weeks before it happened to Gordon Hayward or a week or something. It was crazy uh, that they both happened. So um, he would be the best person I knew to test something to help with ankle stability because my ankles are fine right now. Like I can, I can test it a bit, but I really can't put it through the ringers the way he can, especially as a receiver, uh, the way he's cutting on it and moving on it and running. He'd be the ideal person for that test. So let's get into what he said. Okay, so to start off, uh, the ankle brace is pretty affordable for one. It is $44.99. And they basically recommended it for anyone with medial lateral ligament protection, uh, ankle sprains, and to help with ankle instability. Now, if you do want to see the actual product and me putting it on, go to the unboxing video. That will be uh, after this. You can watch that so you can get a little bit closer look of the packaging and how it all laces up. That will be in that video. For this, let's just talk about everything that Joel was concerned about for his ankle and where the Don Joy Bionic ankle strap fell into that. So the big things for him were going to be, first off, how it stabilizes his ankle, how it fits inside his cleat, how long it stays on, how it compares to taping, which he was already doing, and then we'll see the overall value of the product. So although it does look a little bit bulky when you're just looking at it, Joel said it fits in his cleats perfectly fine. And he used a couple different cleats. He used some Nike Vapor cleats. He also used an Under Armour highlight with it to try it out with that. And he said he had no issues with those two whatsoever. So it fit in a cleat really nicely. I wanna thank this week's sponsor and that is SeatGeek.com. Now, if you haven't heard of SeatGeek before, it is the app that takes all the confusion out of buying tickets online. So how it basically works is you go in the app, you pick your event, it'll show you all the available seats, and they actually don't rank them by price, they rank them by how good of a deal you'll get. So they rank them at a zero out of 10, the best seats will get a 10, the worst will get a zero. And when you look at the map, you can see everywhere with the green, and those are the best value seats. So it is a really, really simple way to get discount tickets for events coming up really soon, so check that out. Plus also when you do buy some tickets from them, for your first purchase, you get $20 off with your code lineman. Also when they you do buy that, they throw a couple backs my way, so it's a really good way to also help me out make some content. I don't ask for a lot of money from you guys on this. I generally just do it because I like doing it. So if you guys do wanna buy some tickets, don't forget to use the code lineman through there. And that way you get a good deal. I get a couple bucks my way. It's really beneficial to both of us. Now you can use the link in the description down below to purchase, purchase through SeatGeek.com or you can just download their app SeatGeek. So again, thank you SeatGeek for sponsoring this week's video. His other big concern with it being inside his cleat is because he has a lot of hardware inside his ankle, plates, screws, you name it. He was concerned of it rubbing up against those and feeling a little bit weird and awkward and just uncomfortable for him. He said with it, there was no pain, nothing whatsoever. Although it was touching up against where he had his plates in his ankle, he said it felt completely fine. He also said for it that uh, he was afraid it would be, uh, he'd have trouble cutting in it. He said he had no problem cutting. He said it fit really well. Didn't even really feel like he was wearing it and he had really no restriction of movement while wearing it for making his cut. So he overall liked that. The one thing he said though is over time with the lacing, because everything on this is Velcro, you don't actually tie it up at all. Uh, he said it loosened over time, so he had to re-tighten the system. So now let's just compare it a little bit to taping his ankle. So he said the two big things, the difference is, uh, he said he felt a little more stability with tape over this. Tape also obviously holds the whole time just because they do so much taping for his ankle. So he said he felt more stability with that. And I get it because that is a custom thing. This is a product. The taping that he gets is completely custom to him and his ankle condition. Um, however, the one thing he said is obviously this is way easier for him to use than getting tape because he can slap it on quick and go. So it's a lot more convenient option than taping your ankles every time. And technically with the amount of tape, you know, you might buy personally to get your ankles taped, however that works with you. 
over time going with this brace would actually save you money. However, he said overall for it, just because of the extremity, how extreme his injury was, he still prefers taping just because his ankle is, like I said, it was a mess. So the custom of the taping is what he needs for his ankle. And because he, he doesn't have to pay for his tape, you know, he has trainers to tape up his ankle every time. However, for you, if you are having some ankle issues and you don't know how to tape in, um, you want something for the long term that can be easily put on, the Donjoy Performance Bionic Ankle Strap is a really, really good option for you. So there you guys go, I hope you guys enjoyed that episode. Again, it is a little weird not having the actual product here with me, but I needed the best person to test this product, and that was Joel, and I think he gave us a lot of value, valuable feedback. Uh, if you have any questions, you can leave those down below. Again, if you do like the reviews, please hit that like button. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode, and as always, thanks.